With the global financial system at a historic moment of total collapse, only depopulation of the most efficient means is the way the financier oligarchy can respond. However, the policy of reducing our numbers on this planet has been the model of the British Empire throughout history, and wherever they are, genocide will follow. It's not just a question of halting the genocide of thermonuclear war. The genocide has already begun. All discussion of overpopulation or global warming causing uncontrollable changes in food production are a lie. Policy of scaling back food production in the name of stabilization of global markets is a deliberate starvation policy that has been utilized by the British Empire for hundreds of years. Despite the open knowledge of that, what is often cited as not deliberate and out of mankind's control is the process of severe and unpredictable weather. Ancient cultures knew to expect periodic droughts or floods and would take precautions to the best of their ability. Our first line of defense must be to understand those processes themselves that are the cause of anomalies in the weather and learn to fill in those parts of the process that nature won't supply. But a society where mankind is treated like just another animal, where those that are weaker than the strongest beast will be expected to die, is one in which human beings are not allowed access to such knowledge. That is precisely what the British Empire has done, is doing, and will do to the human race unless stopped. But despite the sheer power and destructiveness of those forces driving weather, an understanding of those same processes could be the windows through which we as mankind can gain in addition to this being of the universe we live in. We can also gain the ability to alter those weather patterns that today may seem unpredictable and out of control. Looking for the cause of such a phenomenon requires man to change his identity from being an earth-dwelling slave to his senses to an extraterrestrial being where the development of the human mind above all is primary. Multitudes of weather anomalies have been seen in the past year. Human beings have the ability to creatively gain a mastery over the... Are we in this world going to let the British Empire dominate us in power of nature? Today, the same attack on humanity continues. It is not just a matter of will genocide occur. It is happening and it is completely unnecessary. Human beings have the ability to creatively gain a mastery over the forces of nature and begin to control weather on this planet. So the question is, are we in this world going to let the British Empire dominate us by leaving us open to the unseen power of nature? Or are we in the United States, with the power of our Constitution, going to eliminate empire and master the control of the forces of nature? Hi guys, it is November 20, 2018. Global Compact for Migration. Global Compact for Safe, Orderly, and Regular migration final draft July 11 2018 United Nations is behind the migration that is going on in the United States and other Western countries for an agenda 2030 global compact climate change all of this interconnected the United Nations reshaping the world people like the Rothschilds Rockefellers the extremely wealthy elite to make everybody their slave to reduce the population control it if you get it smaller you can control it much more easily you put them into mega regions in the world all because we need to do this for climate change it's got to be sustainable the world as it is is not sustainable so the United Nations has to make it sustainable and one of the ways in which they are making it sustainable is to orchestrate migration, international migration, to let you see how deliberate and orchestrated is this migrant caravan coming up from Central America and all of the refugees coming into Western countries in Europe. But most are uh, able-bodied young men coming into our countries but the dictates from the United Nations to all of the signatory countries you will hear these dictates and if you can't hear how deliberate all of this is coming from the top the United Nations filtering down into countries and all of mainstream media following the dictates of the United Nations if you can't hear it then you don't want to hear it. But this PDF, United Nations, Permanent Mission of Mexico to the United Nations, Permanent Mission of Mexico to the United Nations. Wow, on migration? Is this why 
we are seeing the Mexican police protect the migrants and even escorting the border their mission from the United Nations. The Rockefeller Foundation funding the global, the United Nations Global Compact. You can even check out the Rothschilds sustainable, Sustainability Report in 2016. All of these agendas have been implemented for many, many decades, and they are so intricate, a web across the world that is so intricate, all involved in the reshaping of the world for sustainability because of climate change. My God. Dictates from Rothschild, Rockefeller, to the United Nations to, to bring in people from radically different cultures into nations to destroy their sovereignty, their culture, their identity. Donald did pull us out of the global compact on migration. It does not matter that Trump said we're not going to be signing the global compact on migration. Why doesn't it matter? Because all of the agendas now are pretty much at their end. Do you think your representatives in Congress actually represent you and they don't represent corporations? Corporations who want the new world order like Nestle's, that is also working to implement the United Nations Global Compact and is, is working to increase the, the profits of their shareholders, and that is their main goal. You want the United Nations to be a one world government that allows corporations to do whatever the hell they want to do. You got to understand that Trump, Rothschild, Rockefeller, Soros, all of them, Clintons, they're all in it together. You can read the 10 principles of the United Nations Global Compact, but here are some excerpts. This global compact expresses our collective commitment to improving cooperation on international migration. And keep in mind what you've been told by mainstream media, how wonderful these migrants are. And in fact, they do the jobs that Americans don't want to do. In fact, you're too lazy, Americans. That is the propaganda that you get on mainstream media from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. All, all decided, okay, today's the day. I walk to the United States. Do you really think 7,000 people? Guiding principle and sustainable development in our globalized world. It is about what's underlying this the orchestration of this, the deliberate nature of migrants flooding Western countries, deporting them. Hmm, let's see. Can I figure this out? Oh, is there a deliberate agenda to bring chaos and violence? Then could they be orchestrating it? We must empower migrants to become full members of our societies, highlight their positive contributions, and promote inclusion and social cohesion. Um, International cooperation, the Global Compact, is a non-legally binding cooperative framework that recognizes that no state can address migration on its own uh, because it's due to the inherently transnational nature of the phenomenon. What that saying is, nations, you don't have sovereignty. You become a signatory of the Global Compact. You give up your sovereignty, and you've got to conform to international law designed by the United Nations. And there are so many countries who are. Now, yes, this is a non-binding agreement, which means countries can pull out. We'll see, because they have yet another uh, conference in December. And yeah, Trump has said, we're out. The troops, they're there to assist border control, put up barbed wire, and oh, um, put up tents for the migrants. Well, the troops were there to prevent them from coming across the border. So why are they putting up all of these tents for migrants? That doesn't make sense. And if the world's people don't wake up to the fact that we've got this small, crazy, nutjob, evil, psychopathic, elite, nutjob, but there are so many people involved in all of this, the climate change industry, the global compact industry, Agenda 2030 industry, all involved in implementing Agenda 2030. Many people don't even know 
that they are working, they think they're working towards something wonderful when they're actually working for something so evil that's going to destroy them, destroy their own individual rights, make them a slave, uh, destroy their own uh, sovereignty of their nation. Doesn't matter because you can't get through to them. They receive a paycheck. That paycheck actually prevents a lot of people from taking in the truth.